What did you think of the draft and how Denver did with George Payton in his very first one? To me, it was a textbook scout uh, doing a scout thing and just sticking to the board. He had Justin Fields, okay, a quarterback who was a higher risk and, and an also greater reward pick for the Broncos. Passed on him and went for the safe guy who's going to be probably a three-time Pro Bowler here in the next five five years in cornerback Patrick Sertan, even though Sertan uh, joined a already crowded cornerback room. They uh, signed Ron Darby to a big contract. They signed Kyle Fuller. Those two guys together make $19.5 million. Sertan makes it three. They got Bryce Callahan, which is four. Very interesting pick. That's what's going to be dissected. I like the second round running back, Javante Williams. But eventually, five years from now, it will be Sertan versus Justin Fields, who went two picks later against uh, for the Bears, and also Mac Jones, another quarterback, who went number 15 to New England. Until things change, we're going to go with the assumption that Aaron Rodgers will not be a Bronco. With this said, Mike, you talked to Vic Fangio about how he's going to handle the quarterbacks. Drew gets the first rep, and Teddy's the backup. You change up every day. How are you going to work that? We'll work that out. We haven't actually sat down and figured that out. Um, but it will be something that at the end of the day, maybe not at the end of every day, but over the course of the body of work, OTAs and training camp, that it will be 50-50 pretty much. Mike, they said that they were going to bring in competition for Drew Locke. I guess Vic Fangio just reiterated it to you right there. He sure did. I think Locke deserves the first rep. Uh, he doesn't make hardly any mistakes, but is more conservative in his playing style, Teddy Bridgewater. 